If you're an agent that needs to know everything about leads and how to handle them, how to look upon them like the beautiful things they are, this video is for you. I'm gonna give you advice that I wish I was okay given when I first started in the insurance industry. So I'm gonna help you understand everything you need to know about leads 101 when you first get after it. So first off, leads are just an opportunity to have a conversation with a great consumer. That's what leads really are. And a lot of agents get led on wild goose chases or maybe they're led down an alley of belief that they think leads are just sales. Maybe you buy 20 leads and go, wow, well this should be uh, $20 bills up in my pocket. I should have 20 sales here. Leads are not that. So first off, understand a lead is an opportunity to bring value to a consumer. A lead is just a hand up, okay? It's a hand up, you gotta call upon that hand, okay? Just like in class. So understand a lead is amazing, leads are everything in this industry, especially when you're new, you're gonna need lots of leads, okay? Because there's not that many people, even in your Project 100, okay, to go really get after, you're gonna eventually run out of these great folks. So understand you need to really focus on one thing with your leads, and that's mindset. You've gotta look at those leads like the gold that they are, and leads are gold, but let me tell you, you're gonna get your hands in the dirt, okay, if you wanna find that gold that is in those leads. So when I first started in this industry many, many, many years ago, and let me share with you, I run a national insurance agency, jasonfinalexpense.com. We do sell life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face -face and in the telespace. So if you need a good agency to call home, I do recruit agents across the nation, feel free to reach out. But when I first started in this industry, I looked at a lead differently. I just did, okay? I was handed leads, and I didn't know the difference between hot leads, cold leads, or lukewarm leads, okay? And I was handed leads that were hot. Well, hot meaning they were just, um, they just came off the printer, okay? Not that they were really hot. And you're gonna find out very quickly, even with direct mail leads, the gold standard for face-to-face -face agents as well, you go out and you knock those doors and you've got the pretty little postcard with their, okay, return address label on it. And they're gonna go, I never asked for that. Understand, leads are just an opportunity to bring value to them. So understand leads are amazing, but you're gonna be led on a wild goose chase sometimes. Leads are not sales. So even when you're calling to set your appointments by phone, the most important thing is understand your tone. You've got to be in a good place in the mind. You've got to have a good way about you to translate what the client wants you to do for them so that you can have the best chance of letting your client win, which then will give you the win and then the sale. So it's all about really just getting after it with your consumer, okay? You've got to be consumer-minded, but understand you're gonna dig through a lot of dirt. You're gonna get dirty, you're gonna get told no. It doesn't matter if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent or a telesales agent. You will have adversity. Welcome to the industry. 90 plus percent of the agent force will never make it, and it's for a variety of reasons. A lot of times they don't have good scripts, they don't have good training, bad technique, okay? Maybe it's a poisoned mind, maybe you lack the hustle muscle, lots of reasons we can go into. But understand that if you make it, it's amazing. This is a performance-based industry, and you've gotta be putting your focus on those leads if you want a chance at becoming insanely profitable. So look at those leads, everyone. When you have that lead, you've gotta work like you're broke, even if you got money in the bank. If you wanna make those leads work for you, understand you've gotta work for what those leads want you to do for them. So get in front of those leads. You gotta work those leads not just once or twice and think the leads are broke, okay? Or you start door knocking and you get told no at that first, second, or third door. Understand the leads aren't broke. <laughs> You're gonna be broke if you don't keep pursuing the next lead. Understand you've gotta go through this sea of no's sometimes before you get your yes. You've gotta go through the sea of no's before you make it. So understand leads are amazing. Now, there are some bad leads out there, okay? There are some garbage leads that, let me tell you, they are basically like a phone book, okay? This is like IMOs, FMOs that give you three-year-old aged data. Captive agencies and even some independent agencies can be guilty of this, all right? They hand you their leads, they make you put money into their blankety-blank account when you work for them, and they charge it to you regardless, and your little manager will click on it and give you some leads, right? And then you find out that this is like three-year-old data, okay? Data is not a lead, a data is like a phone book, okay? So I'm talking about here in this video, real leads. I'm talking about direct mail leads. I'm talking about SEO leads. I'm talking about internet leads, okay? I'm talking about all kinds of good leads. When you have a, a lead, it's just a client putting their hand up. 
when they put their hand up, you've got to be purposeful in helping them. If you're going to help them, that means you're going to call them a lot. You're not going to give up. You're going to go knock those doors if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent and they don't pick up that phone. Don't be an, a, an agent that loses out on the opportunity to guard this family. This is a request for help. A request for help. Think about it like somebody lost in the woods. Help me, okay? That's what they're doing, but they won't tell you that, okay? You got to go help these great people and you got to just get after it. You've got to call and call and call. You've got to door knock day and night, okay? And I'm not talking about after nine, but you got to door knock during legal hours. Go help these great people. If you're a telesales rep, you got to keep, okay, digging in the dirt if you want to be determined to make it. You've got to keep calling for not just one day or two day and three day and think your lead's broken. Your perspective of the lead can sometimes create problems for you as an agent because a lot of veterans are lazy. They'll work a lead one or two days, maybe three days, and then they throw it in the trash. So, I started in this industry a long time ago, okay? I've done telesales and I've done insurance, a combined, okay, 20 plus years, two plus decades, all right? So when I started in the insurance industry, after working in the telespace, okay, doing call centers, okay, lots of fun, but let me tell you, it's different than insurance. Ran call centers for three plus years and then I went into the insurance industry. And when I dove into the insurance industry, veteran agents and new agents were taking leads that they called maybe once or twice. They'd ball it up like a little snowball and throw it in the trash. I took that lead, took it from the trash with their permission, of course, and turned it into treasure because my mind was strong. I go, that person needs help. What, they told you they didn't want anything? Well, if you want to make the wealth, it's not that they didn't want anything. They just didn't understand you were in their corner yet. So I took that crumpled lead, rolled it out, and made great wealth that week and in the weeks that followed. Understand your mindset is crazily important. When someone else has a trashy mindset, okay, a poisonous mind, they're never gonna get profitable results. So don't be influenced by those around you. Have a good mind, have good methods for sure. You need good proven power scripts, good proven platforms to run on. Have good trainers, good mentors that know how to pick up your phone call without making you schedule it, okay? It's very important that you've got somebody in your corner. Whether you're a veteran or new, it is important. Your work family will help you in a big way, okay? You're an industry, unfortunately, where you're for yourself, but you never should be by yourself. So make sure you've got a good work family to call a home, but when you do, Get after those leads. Don't listen to the, the noise of the industry of, oh, it's such a tough day. You're never gonna transact if you keep licking your wounds. You're just gonna be more wounded, okay? You wanna be wealthy? Start focusing on what you can do for that consumer. Start getting after it. Don't make excuses, make a way. So when you handle that lead, understand, put your head down and push. You've gotta push, okay? You want your career to start moving? Start pushing, start doing, start doing. Be more determined. Okay, get after it. Understand this industry looks like a lot of hard work. It always has been, always will be. But let me share with you, the harder you work, the luckier you should get, okay? So if you're a telesales agent, understand you may have to call a lead mind-numbingly maybe eight days in a row before, okay, they pick up. That looks like hard work, doesn't it? If you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, you gotta keep calling that lead now and into the future. Keep calling them. Basically, you keep calling them until either they tell you to put them on the do not call list, okay, if it's a brand new lead, or if you've got 90 days to call them, all right, if it's a good TCPA compliant lead, insurance lead, go get after it. But you should be calling and calling and calling until they buy or die or until you legally cannot serve them anymore, okay? And if it's a brand new lead, if you're not using a a scrubber, just be mindful of that, okay? Make sure you're doing things the right way. But go take care of these great people. If you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, guess what? Go door knock those leads after 90 days. You can go get after it. You can make great income because you've gotta be willing to do what the unsuccessful folks around you are not willing to do. Go work your leads. So understand, with leads in general, it's your perspective, not always the lead that's the problem. Understand that this lead can lead you to the promised land, but you've got to put your back into it. Doesn't matter if it's a telemarketed lead. Really doesn't. A lead is a name and a number and a person to call and talk to. Doesn't matter if it's a Facebook lead. Let me tell you, they're not the greatest on the planet, but you know what? It'll get you a good client. I've done it successfully. You can use a direct mail lead. It's phenomenal, but it's still a name and a number and a client, okay? You've got to understand that leads will always lead you to the same basic prospect if you've got a quality lead 
this sweet person that you're going to talk to if you're selling final expense or life insurance, okay, or any form of it, or Medicare insurance or Medicare Advantage, understand that this sweet prospect is a professional avoider. They're going to avoid you at all cost. Okay, they're going to say things that maybe aren't true to try to throw you off the scent, to try to keep you away because they know they need what you have for them. So sometimes the folks that are the nastiest to you, sometimes on the phone on the front side, you'll find will be some of your sweetest clients. Sometimes the people that will tell you to go somewhere over the phone, if you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, those are the ones that about a day or two later go knock that door. <laughs> okay, they'll be real sweet to you because that's their only defense mechanism. So be determined with a lead. Be determined. All right, practice and drill and rehearse. Make sure you've got good proven scripts, good proven platforms to run on when you're setting appointments or when you're selling by phone. Make sure you're not using, especially in telesales, some free script somewhere. It'll get you into trouble, okay? If it's not intellectual property, let me tell you, it's worth uh, the, the paper that it's written on and the ink that sits on there. It's not probably too great if you're getting free scripts. No good insurance agency is just gonna freely hand you intellectual property if it's powerful. They're not gonna most likely do that. So if you're in telesales, be careful. Vet your trainer, vet your mentor, vet your agency. Make sure you are learning from the top of the food chain, okay, from people that really have done it. If you're gonna work telesales, ask your mentor or your potential upline, what was your best six months selling insurance by phone? How long have you personally done telesales yourself? Ask these questions. And the same goes for face-to-face. -face. Someone wants to train you on face-to-face, -face, go, how many years have you done face-to-face -face insurance? What's your best six months selling face-to-face -face yourself? Please vet your manager, vet your upline. It's important because you wanna make sure that whoever is helping you get in the dirt knows how to truly find the gold. If not, you got somebody that never knows where the gold is and you're sitting there digging, getting dirty and you don't know how to find the little gold nuggets in these leads that is absolutely attainable for you when you work hard and everything aligns properly. Okay, you gotta have a good mind and good methods, but your mind will help you. Understand that a lead is just what I said in the beginning, an opportunity to have an amazing conversation, to bring value to your consumer. So understand with leads, Leads are a name and a number and a great person that you get to hopefully connect with. Focus on them and then hopefully by you focusing on the consumer and giving them everything they want, you can help them okay, with their problem. You've got the product hopefully for it and now you can take care of them. They became your okay, client and guess what? That'll make you hopefully happy, wealthy and sticking and staying in this industry. Never, never give up. Never, never give up. If you get a lead, until they tell you to put them on the do not call list or until they say to go somewhere that's really horrible, that isn't heaven, okay, and they're really, really nasty to you, okay, understand that you can continue to go after that lead until about 90 days if it's a fresh lead. And just keep pursuing that client. Keep pursuing them. If you're determined, you can have the best chance of making it in this time-tested and noble profession. Never give up. Understand when everybody is throwing away leads, putting them in the trash can, you can turn them into treasure, but you've got to treasure every little moment that you have to be on those phones. Treasure every little moment you have to knock on those, those doors. Go help these great people. They do need you, they want you, and you can make it in this space, okay? You really can, but you've got to have an undying, okay, desire to stay determined and to never give up. If you bang on enough doors, you can see enough people, you know what? If you stick and stay, you've got the best chance of making it in this amazing industry. I hope this helps you. hope this gives you a little background on how to look at leads, to never give up, and to always be pursuing the heart of your client. Have a great day. I appreciate you watching. If you need anything at all, feel free to reach out. JasonFinalExpense.com. Have a great weekend.